Please sit down. It is my pleasure to welcome you on this sunny afternoon to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduates whose magnificent achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate today. I would also like to welcome those of you who are here as family and friends. Many of you have traveled long distances. We're delighted to see you at the university and thank you for the help, support, and encouragement that you've given our graduates during their studies. I would like to ask our graduates to stand up and give a round of applause to your supporters. Thank you. A degree ceremony is a rite of passage marking the move from one stage of life to another. Some of you will remain in higher education and research, but for many, the transformation is to the world of work. If you're still feeling the effects of your examinations or the pressures of deadlines for your thesis, you can take some comfort in the thought that while education is never complete, the rewards for what you've achieved so far are now at hand. The early days of most people's careers can be challenging, but those of you who are graduating today have given yourselves a real competitive edge by completing your degree here in Manchester. Our alumni occupy the highest positions in the creative sector, the worlds of business, the professions, and government. Future leaders in all of these domains are sitting on the seats in front of me. You'll see around you outside some of the investments we're making in our campus to improve the experience of our students and to keep our research at the leading edge. But it's not these that make this university so great and successful. It's our, our staff, our students, our, our people. You have helped to make the university what it is today, and this ceremony is just as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution as for your success in academic studies. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone, and you should celebrate your success but this is the beginning of the journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. As the class of 2015, you'll not only take with you the friendships formed in your years with us, but also membership of the wider family of a quarter of a million who come together in our alumni association. One last message before we proceed is to remind you that your university degree does not only confer upon you a recognition of the knowledge that you have gained. In this age, where trust in many of our leading public and private institutions has been damaged, we rely even more upon the integrity and informed skepticism that the trained mind can offer. Social responsibility and equity are also deeply ingrained here. Wherever you go in the world, you're also responsible for carrying those values which make the world a better place. I would now like to invite Professor Jeremy Gregory to address you on behalf of the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures. Vice President, colleagues, graduates, and your families and friends, as head of the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures, I'm delighted to congratulate those of you graduating today on your stunning success in obtaining your degrees. Colleagues in the school, are extremely proud of what you have achieved. They have worked closely with you for three or four years or more. Some of you graduating today have studied with us for your BA, MA, and PhD programs, meaning that you've shown loyalty to us for over seven years, and you've become very much part of our academic community. Many of you who are being awarded a PhD today have also been graduate teaching assistants, working alongside us in teaching our undergraduates, so that you are our valued colleagues as well as our inspiring students. And we hope that you've all found your time here 
intellectually and academically stimulating. Because whatever else studying for a degree gives you, the experience should have been one where you found yourselves both challenged and excited. And I'm extremely grateful to my colleagues for having given you that experience. For many of you, I have no doubt it will have transformed your lives, though you may not know it yet. I therefore ask you all to join me in thanking the teaching and support staff for all their efforts and dedication during your time with us. This ceremony in our magnificent Whitworth Hall reminds us of the bold Victorian hopes and aspirations for our university, and it also reminds us that the subjects studied by you for your degrees have a long and distinguished record at this institution. When the university was first founded in 1851, English was one of the degree subjects offered decades before at Oxford and Cambridge for, quote, the general cultivation and discipline of the mind. And one of the first three professors had the duty of teaching English language and literature, but also logic and mental philosophy. Manchester pioneered the study of American studies in the UK and has been teaching it since 1947. The Department of Linguistics was founded in 1963 when the Montfollick Chair was established and we started admitting students to study the discipline in 1964. Creative writing has been taught here since the 1990s, and in 2007, we established a center for new writing, concentrating principally at postgraduate level, but we're now teaching it at undergraduate level too. And I'm very pleased to say that today, English literature and language, linguistics, American studies, and creative writing are flourishing areas within the school, known for their excellent teaching and research. In the recent National Research Evaluation exercise, where institutions were judged on the quality of their research, the research environment, and the impact of their research on the wider world, colleagues in linguistics and English language were part of a wider group which was rated third in the UK, accounting for both the high quality of their research and the impressive size of the group. And English literature, American studies, and creative writing were well ranked too. In, in the recent Complete University Guide, American Studies at Manchester was ranked third in the country. And what may be good for you to know is that students of English, American Studies, and Linguistics are among the most highly employable of all graduating students. Many of the degree programs you've studied examine the most controversial and exciting topics of the time, such as issues of gender and sexuality and the relationship between the local and the global. In this, they signal the university's commitment to exploring the grand challenges of the day. Students this year have produced some outstanding work, and I'm very pleased to announce the following prizes. First of all, Outstanding Academic Achievement Awards, and these are for students with a final classification of 75% or above, and you can see them printed at the start of your program. First of all, Daniel Morrison from Linguistics with a stunning 80% overall. <laughs> Wan Chai, Linguistics. <laughs> and Victoria Wallace, Linguistics. And the Dean's Award for Achievement go to Chiabo Chun, Linguistics and Sociology, Camilla Barlow, Linguistics, Sino Kok, Linguistics and Sociology, and Ying Chao, Linguistics and Sociology. <laughs> the a and Kaiser Prize in American History goes to Lydia Paver. The Arwid Johansson Exhibition for Medieval Studies goes to Beth Pearson. <laughs> the De Quincey Essay Prizes for the two best long essays go to Josh McLaughlin and Lucy McLean. <laughs> the
The Dennis Wellen Prize for American Studies goes to Thomas Cornelius. The Mary Catherine Slater Prize to Rebecca Hardman. The G.L. Brooke Prize for Medieval Studies goes to Nicola McNeil. The Jesse Davis Candle Prize to James Broadway. The Faye Mitchell Memorial Prize to Corinna Tangaras. And the Samuel James Woodall Prizes for the best overall final year performance in English, shared by Josh McLaughlin and Amber De La Haye. As a sign of the school's commitment to MA students, I'm delighted to be able to announce that the school will offer a £3,000 bursary to any student graduating from the university with a first-class degree who registers on one of our MA programmes. The school's web and social media officer has asked me to remind you that the school is running a graduation selfie competition. So please tweet us your selfie if you want to take part. I should add that selfies should not be taken during the ceremony. <laughs> After this ceremony, I invite you to join colleagues for a reception in the graduation marquee. I hope you thoroughly enjoy today. Please keep in touch with us and visit us when you're back in Manchester. We wish you the very best of luck for the future and look forward to hearing how you're doing. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Fatima H. M. H. A. Massain. <laughs> Farah B. Nazir. And for the Master of Arts English Language, Hui Pan. <laughs> and for the Bachelor of Arts English Language with Honours, Fahmida Tanya Akhtar. <laughs> Holly Barker. Nicholas Barraclough. <laughs> Connor Barrett. <laughs> Alicia Bargat. <laughs> Lucy Kate Bramhall. Amy Brendover. <laughs> Owen Bundy Davis. <laughs> Asa Aaron Abram Hal Khan. <laughs> Bridie Jane Cottis. Yanis Dalhas. <laughs> Sophia Rose Dahu. <laughs> Thomas Eccles. Yes, 
Asma Elm Salty. <laughs> Joseph James David Hargreaves. <laughs> Alex Harmon. <laughs> Laura Hatton. Jack Herlock. <laughs> Asiya Jamil. <laughs> Helen Elizabeth Jones. <laughs> Jack Jones. Rachel Jones. <laughs> Polly Alexandra Nicola Jones. <laughs> Maria Coca. <laughs> Ruby Terry Linden. Jacob Shaw Mahoney. Luke Marsh. Adam Massey. Laura McCann. Gabriel O'Connor. <laughs> Laura Proctor. <laughs> Jessica Faith Rigby. <laughs> Gabriel Royal. Jade Hannah Sherry. <laughs> Ellie Jessica Syme. <laughs> Kira Suleiman. <laughs> Marcus Sorton. Natasha Catherine Steen. <laughs> Lauren Thomas. <laughs> Rebecca Tiffany. <laughs> Jake Lee Tilly. Saba Ula. <laughs> Holly Wilson. <laughs> Jaya Wu. <laughs> Rebecca Sophie York. And in English Language and Screen Studies with Honours, Xin Yin Lei. <laughs> Sushi Lu. <laughs> Liam Roach. <laughs> Louis Sangara. And in English Literature and Linguistics with Honours, Adam Luke Fern. <laughs> Sadia Hussain.
Jennifer Leung. Sarah Mahmoud. Megan Diane Lamara McBride. Megan Diane Whitaker. And in linguistics with honours, Emily Alice Aston. Camilla Barlow. Joseph Branca. Alana Ann Colton. Lucy Hannah Cook. Bethany Curry. Gareth Evans. Jinji Liang. Jasmine Hamlin. Rachel Elizabeth Lunt. Laura Marchinesi. Charlotte Ann Maver. Nicholas McNally. <laughs> Louise Michelle Middleton. <laughs> Donald Alistair Morrison. <laughs> Lydia Moulton. Emma Mary Nabs. <laughs> Siyum Han. <laughs> Natalie Parr. <laughs> Samuel Potter. Nicola Telfer. <laughs> Victoria Wallace. <laughs> and in linguistics and screen studies with honours, Yi Zhao. And in linguistics and social anthropology with honours, Simon Pease. <laughs> and in linguistics and sociology with honours, Jayabu Chen. <laughs> si no ko. Unwalo. <laughs> Dunming Lu. <laughs> Joanna May McKinley. <laughs> Yan Chen Shu. Leilu, Ella Claire Young, Shen 
Xiao Xia Chang. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Michael W. Durant. <laughs> Jennifer Thorpe. And for the Master of Arts, Creative Writing, Patrick Ian Wright. <laughs> Julia Tamsin Tregoing. <laughs> and in English and American Studies, Bethany Emma Miners. Suraj Vara. And in Gender, Sexuality and Culture, Jesse Lee Cohen. And for the Bachelor of Arts, American Studies with Honours, James Martin Austin. David Battersby. <laughs> Rachel Boardman. <laughs> Thomas Cornelius. <laughs> Patrick Critch. Sophie Elizabeth Daniel. Mariana Lucia de Forge. Charlotte Evans. Rachel Everett. Natasha Rose Lister Godley. <laughs> Carla Gordon. <laughs> Samantha Marsland. <laughs> Mabel Elizabeth O'Connor. Jaina Surendra Patel. Lydia Paver. Madeline Taylor. Helena Valeli. And in English Literature with Honours, Aruj Anwar. <laughs> Mikhail Aram. <laughs> Lauren Nicole Arthur. <laughs> Carl Astbury. Hannah May Behag. <laughs> Rosalind Blundell. <laughs> and
Emily Catherine Bourne. Alex Brown. Lauren Calderbank. Amy Louise Calderbank. Megan Francis Kant. Elena Clark. Emily Corkill. Beth Alice Curl. Oliver Deasy. Tom Dixon. Caitlin Leanna Downey. Karen Allison Doyle. Callum Ferguson. Natalie Joy French. Laura Gaskell. Charlotte Goth. Rebecca June Hardman. Joanna Harris. Jacob Harrison. Patrick Hinton. Kimberly Howard. Richard Jinks. Tilly Jones. Sarah Jones. Gavin Jordan. Jessica Ann Krish. Hannah Langan. Natalie Lever. Holly Jane Mann. Elizabeth Grace Marshall. Monica McCarran. Michael McGinley Hughes. Lucy McLean. Josh McLaughlin. Lydia Moffat. Jessica Rachel Needham Bennett. (laughs) 
Elliot Liam Neal. Christy Kate Norcliffe. Daniel Norman. Nicola Claire O'Brien. Arthur Lawrence Roberts. Adam Schofield. Morris David Seifert. Mizbah Shah. Ellie Smith. Ellen Spellman. Maya Stott. Jack Swanston. Matthew Swift. Sonia Tammy. And in English Literature and American Studies with honors, Jessica Allen. James Broadway. Isabel Cecil. Matthew George Cole. Joseph East. Leah Gruber. Fatima Haider. Keris Mari Llewellyn. Katie Teresa McCartney. Alexandra Patricia Nicol. Holly Richards. Gurdev Singh. Ella Westall. Hannah Yaroslaw. And in History and American Studies with honors, Samuel George Rippon Bartram. Fraser Burney. Alex Dima. Ruth Elizabeth Gurgle. Lydia May Halbrook. Bethan Jones. Basra Khan. Thomas Barnaby Locke. Amy Rose Matthews.
Mandy Poon. Jamie Sims. Shana Walker. And in Modern Languages, Business and Management, Spanish, with honors, Patrick Nordquist. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements, and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. You're graduates now, you can put your hats on. Stand. <laughs> 